India was the romantic literary muse of the famous 19th century English writer Rudyard Kipling. Out of this romance came his most famous book, Kim, whose central character is an English boy disguised as an Indian who spies for his British masters against Russian designs to conquer India. This was a tale of imperialism, knowledge and power that gave universal recognition to the term Great Game and also endowed the British Raj's intelligence service and its map makers with an adventurous mystique in their shadowy game of domination with the Russian Empire in 19th century Central Asia. This was the playing field of the great game. A vast swathe of land that stretched from Lhasa, the capital of Tibet in the east, to Ashgabat, the capital of what was then Russian Turkestan in the west. This distance of several thousand kilometers, following ancient caravan trails, encompassed the great mountain ranges of the Pamirs and the Himalayas, great rivers like the Indus and the Oxus, the world's highest passes, grassy and sandy steppes and salt marshes, great lakes, remote cities, and fierce and indestructible people. My journeys in Central Asia were confined to what I call Kipling's Western Sector, comprising the region west of the Himalayas and Kashmir, including the countries of Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, and Afghanistan. Over a period of two years, I traveled and filmed in this region. My journey in the western sector began in the city of Samarkand, when in July 2001, I arrived there from New Delhi to shoot the first of my series of two films on the new great game, a game of Islam, oil, gas, and domination in Central Asia, as opposed to Kipling's great game of domination in Central Asia for the biggest prize of them all, the Empire of India.